It's time to take an excursion to the beautiful island of La Saona in the Dominican Republic. This is actually the first excursion that we are reviewing and you won't want to miss it. It is the most beautiful island and you're going to feel like you're somewhere across the world. We had to get up very early for this excursion. This is around 7 o'clock in the morning, which is why my audio wasn't working because I wasn't fully awake. So you do have to get up really early, which I'm not a fan of when I'm on vacation. I don't like to be on a schedule, but this time it was worth it. We scheduled the excursion actually before arriving to the resort through Go Majestic Tours and their WhatsApp account. And then we got to the resort, we visited the office and confirmed all the details. Uh, that morning they picked us up in a really nice luxury bus. And I would say the only downside was then we had to visit four to five other resorts to pick up other passengers. So I did find that a little annoying and time consuming. However, on the flip side, it was actually nice to you know do the excursion with so many other people. And then in the process, we did get a really fun, entertaining tour guide, Danny Boy, who stayed with us the entire time. And on the bus ride, he really gave us some really neat information about the Dominican Republic. And, you know, so we learned along the way uh, as well. So right before getting to port, they take you to this rest stop. Um, note there are no bathrooms on the bus. So they have bathrooms, you can buy things, you can get little snacks, they have empanadas and drinks, uh, beers and things like that. And note that this is part of the excursion. So the idea is to stop and get you to buy as much as possible. So you'll notice there's people, you know, around trying to sell you things and things are a little bit uh, overpriced, but it was fun. It was neat to stop. And um, the bathrooms were actually really clean. I was surprised. So when we finally got to the port, it was around 10, maybe 10.30. So it is about a three hour long morning where you're picking up people, you're stopping at the, um, you know, the, the rest stop and then getting to the port. And then when you do get to the port, make sure you do stay with your group. They are, um, once you get off that bus, they're trying to sell you things, pull you off to the side. Uh, they do have restrooms that you can use and they do have small bars. You know, we grabbed a couple beers and that was fine. But just in general, make sure you stay with your group. So you travel to and from the island in two different ways. Going to La Saona, uh, they take you on a catamaran and then coming back, you go on a speedboat. So right now we're getting on boats to take us out to the catamaran where we're going to spend the morning dancing and partying. The catamaran party boat was so much fun. Really one of the highlights of the trip as well. And they had a DJ, you could get rum and beer. Uh, and they also had an entertainer who was hysterical, kept the, you know, everyone laughing and dancing and just having a really good time. It is in the middle of COVID, so you can see that people were comfortable, you know, not wearing masks. So that's something for you to consider if that's important for you. And, uh, but people from all over the world, Argentina, Colombia, France, and of course the United States, Cuba. I mean, really there was people from all over the world, which was just so much fun to meet all the different people and just, you know, let loose and have fun. It's been a long, long year of just, you know, being in quarantine. So this was really, really a highlight. Right before getting to the island, they stopped so we could swim in this beautiful, they called it a natural pool. It was really, I think, just shallow waters with crystal clear blue um, water. And it was just, I mean, stunning. Something that you look at in magazines, you really feel like you're in um, Fiji or somewhere across the world. So that was just really, really amazing. Now it's time to get to the island. Here we are, La Saona. We finally made it, and we had an 
amazing time. Um, we took this amazing boat here and now we're going to go on the island and have some lunch. Definitely worth taking this tour. We're going to give you the entire review. Definitely worth it. So they give you about two hours on the island and the very first thing you do is have lunch because it's been a while since you've eaten. In fact, I recommend that you eat a nice big breakfast, bring snacks because this is the first meal that you're eating. It's around one o'clock. They do it under the gazebo. It's a traditional Dominican lunch and it's included in the price which was $99 a person and it also included the rum and the beer. What's not included um, when you get to the island is you can get fresh pina coladas, which I recommend, fresh coconut water, which were both $10 for each one. And then you could also do massage, massages, which were about $40. The rest of the time we had to relax and take in the beauty of this island and definitely take it in. You're only there for a short time. So while you're there, relax and just be in awe of the beauty of this amazing island. Another recommendation is they do provide unlimited alcohol on the boat. So just be cautious, take it in moderation because it's easy to get caught up in the party, party atmosphere and we witnessed some people do that and then by the time they got to the island they were throwing up. They probably don't even remember the experience. So um, that's one word of caution. And then also bring extra spending money, not only for the island and the things you might want to buy there, but for tipping because you have the tour guide and you have some of the guys in the boat and then you know the people on the island so they always appreciate tips. A few more tips. One is they do have a professional photographer taking pictures so um, but they are very expensive. We ended up just tipping the guy without buying any pictures because I think it was like hundred and sixty dollars for ten pictures um, just because he was really you know part of the entertainment of, of the whole event we just didn't want to pay the money for the pictures. The other thing too is they do allow you to bring a bag. So pack a bag with sunscreen, towels, and you can't wear shoes on the boat. You can hold your shoes, but you could wear water shoes. So if you not if you don't want to be barefoot, bring water shoes. Sadly, it was time to go home, and this time we boarded speed boats to go back. And just a word of caution. I was really surprised at how rough the ride was back to the port. Um, in the speedboats, maybe because I don't ride speedboats that often, but it was really bumpy, even scary at times. You had to make sure everything you know, was um, secure and they really don't give you any warning about that. So just something to think about, especially if you're traveling with someone that's elderly. One cool thing though was we got to see a school of dolphins up close. So that was really cool right before we got to port. If you go to the Dominican Republic, you have to visit La Isla Saona. It is the most beautiful island I've ever seen. And the excursion itself was so much fun. It was an all day excursion. They advertise it as a half day. It's all day. You don't get back to the hotel until 5.30 or 6. So the only thing I would do differently is maybe get my own transportation to the port and back if that's even allowed. So I wouldn't have to drop off everyone else at the other resorts. But other than that, this is an absolute must if you go to the Dominican Republic. I do respond to all comments and questions. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and follow us on Three Days and Trace Notes while we take you on fun, exciting, and affordable adventures and vacations that you can have in a really short amount of time.